all or nothing. If you're a Cardinals fan and you've seen it, I'm guessing you are all in. Paul Calvisi on ArizonaSports.com. Look, two words here, all access. I mean, if you've seen this, you you laugh, you cry, you sit there wide-eyed. I mean, there's you ever watch a game and they go with the wired segment and all of a sudden you stop everything and you watch because you want to hear what's going on. And they might run 10, 20, 30 seconds, right, of a game broadcast. This is eight one-hour episodes of that. I have three primary takeaways. Number one would have to be the unlimited access that the average fan is allowed. We're talking about around the big rectangle, upstairs, in the locker room, right? Players in the locker room, the training room, the equipment room, the meeting room, the team meeting where Bruce Arians is standing there addressing his team. And not only that, but the cameras inside of each group room talking about the defensive line, doesn't matter, the DB's room, the running back room. You have unlimited access to this football team and to the facility building. I think that's incredible right there, and I think fans are going to be blown away by that. Maybe my favorite scene would be D-line coach Brenston Buckner. He's in the meeting room, doesn't like the way the guys are playing, can't figure out why they're not as motivated as he wants them to be. So what does he do? He breaks out the game film. Not of the players of himself and he's showing up on the screen his own highlights from 1996 and the groans and the laughs and everybody and he's got little arrows to himself and he's showing all his big plays and of course i talked to him a little bit later he condensed them all down he took like a highlight reel from the whole season and he tried to portray it as if it was one game and he had like seven sacks and he had like two and a half tackles for loss he had an interception of fumble recovery that's the great stuff okay a he's showing scoreboard B, he's trying to motivate the guys. And then C, he's changing it up because it's a grind. You really get a sense as to what a grind the NFL season is. The first episode starts with Bruce Arians in 15 minutes of silence when he walks into this empty team meeting room. Just an incredibly artsy, cool way to start the entire series. And then it ends with Bruce Arians as well. He has the last conversation in episode eight and then turns the light out and shuts the door, fade to black. Love that. There's no doubt who is in control of this football team. When you watch this series, Bruce Arians has complete control. Not only that, I love the way he actually speaks to the players, right? We heard so much about Bruce Arians and his connection to the players and the fact that he can reach a kid who's 21 years old who's 22 years old. He can actually speak their language, and he does speak their language. Once you watch all eight episodes of All or Nothing, you know why Bruce Arians makes that connection with his players. There are other moments that are poignant. Tyron Matthew going down with a knee injury, and not just Tyron, but how it impacts the entire team. It was amazing because you see the locker room afterwards. They just won the NFC West, and it was like a funeral in there. The very next day, they're interviewing Carson Palmer in the training room. Honestly, I never thought they would have a camera in the training room. Not only that, you have the trainers working on Carson's thumb, and he's talking about the loss, the magnitude of losing a player like Tyron Matthew. And then boom, the next scene is they're on the stationary bikes together, and they're having a conversation. And at this point, the camera must be this far away, and they're so comfortable. They, don't, they just totally disregard it. And they're having a conversation you would have with a good friend and you can't, you sort of hesitate to ask that question. Well, uh, how bad is the knee? And when Tyron tells him the ACL is torn, Carson automatically goes into it because he's been through two of them himself. He goes, well, let's see, what's the date today? Uh, you'll be back by the start of training camp. And all of a sudden they connect on that level. Carson Palmer and the fact that he'll walk up on an Andre Ellington and say, hey, Andre, you weren't running on that last route. What's the problem? Run. I mean, that's the kind of accountability that you need to have in a locker room. Calais Campbell, Larry Fitzgerald, Patrick Peterson, the Badger, Tyron Matthew, just the leadership they've got in there. Speaking of the Badger, I have to close with this right here. Watching the Honey Badger address the entire defense, the defensive unit in a meeting room on crutches after he blew out his ACL, just listening to the things that he says to them. It's no mistake, right? And it's no wonder that the Honey Badger is the player that he is, even though he's the smallest guy on the field every time he steps in between the white lines. The leadership is my final takeaway of all or nothing. I'm sure you enjoyed it. I know that I did. And I think other teams are going to mimic it for years to come. Larry Fitzgerald, we see a side of Larry 
that we've never seen before. You see Larry the tough guy. Larry the raw football player. Some of the language we never heard Larry use before. I mean, you can't be the most physical receiver in the NFL and not be that guy. And we get to see that guy. We also get to see BA behind the scenes. And the B stands for babysitting. All the other stuff that he has to deal with. Guys parking in his spot in the employee parking lot. I mean, that's some of the most hilarious stuff where I'll cut you if you park in my spot one more time. It's good stuff. If you have a chance, go ahead and binge watch all you want. Just ask yourself, can you handle the truth? Because it is. All or nothing is all access. Paul Calvisi on ArizonaSports.com.